again. In the last lesson, we have created our environment on Remix ID, and in this lesson, we are going to start with the modules. As you can see, we have this folder called modules. This folder is actually our package. Our packages are like the projects, and the modules are like the parts of these projects that are independent, but they can work also together. The first thing to do with the project is to define move.toml file. Just for the convenience, I have copied this move.toml file from the Hello blockchain and changed a couple of things. The package name is modules, and I gave this dummy name, which is Direx Cafe. It's actually given by this Hello blockchain example. And I said the modules address is 0x cafe because our packages have the addresses and we are actually deploying these modules on that address. Next, we have these dependencies for the Aptos framework. And again, you can just keep it as it is. Inside this source folder, I have created a file called modules.move. Now, in this file, I'm going to define a new module by saying module and I will give the name that we have defined for this package, which is modules. And under this, I'm going to say, let's call this greeting. I'm going to say use std string. These parts are not that important because we are going to go into these parts, but just know that the module is going to have the code for our smart contract. And now I'm just going to define a couple of things so that it will be easier to see how the general idea is going to be like. Now, I have added a struct and two functions. Again, we are going to talk about this in more detail, but uh, for the general understanding, struct is where we are going to have our data. So we are going to store data in our smart contracts. Let's say there is a counter and uh, we are incrementing this counter. So we need to put this data somewhere on the smart contract, on the blockchain, and this is how we are going to utilize structs. With structs, we will be holding data. And with the functions, we are going to manipulate the data and read the data. So the idea is simple. Store the data in the structs and manipulate the data with execute functions and query the data with query functions. So with execute functions, we are going to change the data in the blockchain. With query functions, we are going to read the data from the blockchain. Execute functions will not be free. We are going to pay some gas fees, but for the query functions, it's going to be free because reading data from blockchain is free for everyone. Now, we have this uh, struct called message. Don't worry about this Haskey keyword at the moment. And we have a contract, which is type of string. Important the string here from the standard library. And that's why I'm able to use strings. Next, I have the execute function. I know this execute function because it's going to change some data on the blockchain. Even though we have not implemented anything here yet, if we implement it, it will be our function. This will be our query function, get message. It is going to read data from the blockchain. Now, if compile this contract like this, it's going to give us some error. And the reason for that is waiting for a string to return, but we are not returning anything. For this example, I'm just going to return a dumb string. I will say string UTF8. Now let's say hello world. Now I will go to you know, this part, our well done parts. And I'm going to choose my target project. For this one, I'm going to choose Aptos modules. And I'm going to say compile. We had a simple mistake. I forgot this here. Let's compile this again. Now it works just as fine. And we have our result here. And under this address that we have defined here, if you remember, Xerox Cafe, we have this greeting module. This is how the module is going to work. We will have the package and we are going to define modules with the package name. Here we gave the package name and then the module name, which is greeting. And inside this, we had a struct and two functions, but it's not very important at this point. The important point is to understand how the modules include the code for our smart contracts. So thank you very much for listening to me on this video. In the next video, we are going to look at different types of structs that we can have in move language. Thank you very much and see you there.